Hi, my name is John Cropper. I work for Oxfam and I manage one of Oxfam's global programs. And I've been working with a number of agencies on project management for a few years. And so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about PM for NGOs, where it came from, what it is, and, and where we hope it's going. Now, PM for NGOs means project management for NGOs. And it started in early 2007 when several agencies came together working with Lingos, which is Learning for International NGOs, um, to say, well, we think we've got a problem in project management, we're not managing projects as well as we, as well as we could, as well as we should be, and what can we do about it? Um, and we had several virtual meetings with representatives of a number of agencies. Uh, we came together uh, in the middle of 2007, we scoped out a curriculum, we developed a curriculum, uh, we trained people in about 200, 250 people in different locations around the world, testing the concepts to make sure that what we were doing was right and to get people's reaction, which was very, very positive. Um, then we've also, we also run uh, webinars for uh, NGO project managers around the world. We set up a group on LinkedIn, which has now got over 800 people. And then in 2009, uh, to get working with a PM group, we developed a certification called PMD Pro, um, which is a, a certification program for NGO project managers. Level one is ready, it's live, people are doing it uh, around the world at the moment. We're working on level two at the moment and then level three in the future. And uh, at the same time, the organization has developed, so PM for NGOs has just become uh, an independent organization, a non-profit registered in the US. And we are very hopeful that this becomes a hub for NGO project managers, in, of NGO project managers from both uh, large international NGOs, but also, and something that's really important for uh, local NGOs, for staff of local NGOs in developing countries, and all working with the same goal, which is to we want to re we really want to maximise the value of what we're doing for the people who give us money and for people who receive our services, the beneficiaries.